you tell me a little bit about some of the signs and symptoms that you may need to look out for um, if you're worried that you may have eye cancer? Okay, the main problems uh, with sun exposure in particular are lumps and bumps on the surface of the eye, particularly if you haven't worn sunglasses, you don't typically wear hats, if you see any pink fleshy lumps or any brown lumps which have suddenly appeared, you need to get those checked out. So see your optometrist and get a referral to your local eye clinic if you have any new lesions suddenly appear on the surface of the eye or the cornea or your eyelids. How can people protect their eyes from cancers? The best way to protect your eyes from cancers on the surface of the eye is to protect them with a pair of ultraviolet uh, polarised sunglasses. Sunglasses are an excellent way of reducing the ultraviolet stimulation onto the surface of the eye in the same way that wearing sunscreen is a really good uh, way to protect your skin. The, the larger the better, what even better if they wrap around, particularly if you're sitting driving all day with sun coming in from the sides of your vehicle. So large sunglasses with a bit of wrap around is the best way to protect the surface of the eye. For cancers inside the eye, those tend to be invisible, and this is why it's absolutely essential for all adults to be seeing the community optometrist at least every two years for an eye health check. If you haven't seen your optometrist in the last two years, make an appointment. Optometrists are, they're like GPs for eyes, they can have a look at the health of the eyes, and if they find anything, then they will refer you on. And indeed, most lumps and bumps, are, and including cancers that we find at the back of the eye, are actually detected by a community optometrist. So please get an eye check every two years.